All right, this is our next video on Elizabeth. We're trying to do some dog testing here with this puppy. Um, I wouldn't say she's anti-dog. Um, she's dog inexperienced, so she's kind of avoiding the dog a little bit, but uh, ears are forward and, and eyes are curious, so I think that I would say she could go to a home with a dog provided you weren't expecting best friends really quickly and it wasn't a dog that was going to bounce all over her and chase her. If it was uh, the right situation where she could have um, separation from the dog as needed, where she wasn't forced into small um, uh, small space with the dog, I, I think that might be okay. I mean, it's going to take some time, but I'm not seeing anger or irritation or that, you know, the hissing ears back stuff that we do see. Um, well, there was a little growl. So you, you have a little bit of work if you're going to integrate her, I think, with a dog. And it has to be a quiet, uh, very easygoing dog. Otherwise, she is ready to go. This is a very typical seal female, um, somewhat independent, but also well-adjusted and friendly. Um, the girls and the seals are very, um, like to do their own thing, uh, are self-confident, um, comfortable in their own skin, um, come to you for attention, but on their own time. So she's been here in group living and, and done fine, uh, but kind of hangs by her area. Um, doesn't interact a whole lot with the other cats. Uh, I think she would be taken aback by a bully cat of any sort. Um, I don't think young kids are best for her. I think older kids, she'd be fine. Um, and again, a lot depends on, you know, the, the, what you're looking for, male versus female. I mean, this can be a very typical female without the diva hoity-toity qualities that we see in some of them. This is, um, but she's not going to be the male either, which is, you know, pick her up and carry her all around and snuggle her on your uh, time.